Janus Bjorkman. Janus Bjorkman looked at ease striding the catwalk at the Tennis Masters Cup, much to the delight of many of his peers. However, it's not striding the fashion runways that will see the Swede turn his back. It's Centre Court, his office for the past 17 years. It said all good things come to an end, and there can be no disputing that Janus Bjorkman and tennis were a good thing. But it came to an end when Jonas retired from professional tennis after the popular Swede and his partner, Kevin Ulliott, failed to qualify for the Tennis Masters Cup semi-finals. Bjorkman enjoyed a standout career in both singles and doubles. Jonas farewells the game with a remarkable set of statistics. A 414 to 362 win-loss record for singles and a 709 to 306 record in doubles. In total, Giannis played 1,791 matches in his career and earned more than $14.5 million in prize money. In November 1997, he reached a new career singles high of four in the South African Airways ATP rankings. But it was doubles that proved to be his forte, highlighted by reaching world number one spot in the Stanford ATP doubles rankings in July of 2001 and capturing nine Grand Slam doubles titles. Bjorkman may be turning 36, but many challenges lay ahead, and he isn't walking away from the game altogether. He is the chief editor of Sweden's national tennis magazine. Following match point, Bjorkman often stretched both arms across his body and grasped his shoulders, as if to hug the entire crowd. It's with that image we say farewell to one of the game's true champions, Jonas Bjorkman.